Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to flush a fuel injector. Starting off, I went ahead and got some of these Mr. Injector Fuel Injector Rebuild Kit, <coughs> which came with new pinto caps and new um, rubber grommets. Next, I went off and got one of these brake bleeder kits from Harbor Freight. And it only costs like 25 bucks, and I'm going to be using it in order to flush my fuel injectors. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, this is the mechanism that I have set up for you. First of all, the fuel injector, taken right here, starts out like this. Went ahead and popped off the pintle cap and the actual rubber grommets on both sides right here ended up like this. I took a voltmeter leads, the cords going into it, plugged them into the actual um, metal terminals for the fuel injector right here. Next I went ahead and I took this vacuum pump system that I bought from Harbor Freight and went ahead and hooked up the tube from here all the way going into the actual catch can and with a, a lead going down into the actual bottom of the the tube and hooking into the actual fuel injector right here. Okay, the next step I'm going to be doing is, first of all I'm going to be testing it. This right here, the positive lead is going to be hooking over to a battery over here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm going to tap it up and down. It's going to cause it to charge the actual solenoid and it's going to be making a clicking noise. So, Nope, it's not doing it, so that means that this isn't connected all the way. There it goes. You can hear it over there, it's clicking. That means that the fuel injector is working well. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is go ahead and pump this up. This vacuum pump is going to be hooked up to about 20-25 PSI, the normal PSI. What I'm working on is a 2001 Jeep Cherokee. Normally it's around 40 PSI, but I'm finding that around 20-25 is working out fine. The entire point of this basically is that I am flushing the injector with fuel injector cleaner with a pressurized system. So I'm using this stuff right here, this fuel injector cleaner, and I put it inside of this bottle right here, and I'm going to dip this end. Um, as you can see, this tip right here that's going into the white tube is actually the this is actually the uh, tip where it's supposed to be spraying. So I'm, I'm reverse flushing it right now. So I'm dipping it into this bottle with the actual fuel injector cleaner. I pump this up. Like I said, around 25 PSI. I'm sorry, 25, uh, yeah, PSI. All right, so next I'm going to touch this over here, and you can see it's sucking it up. It's actually flushing out the fuel injector. Pressure's going down. Go ahead and pump this up some more. Touch it some more. So that's probably about good for the reverse flush. And take this out. That's about it. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch this the opposite way. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that I went ahead and with that Mr. Injector Fuel Injector Rebuild Kit, I took out the filters as you can see here. They're pretty dirty. And what I first did was I pulled out the filter. That way I could reverse flush it with the actual uh, filter removed. So this comes straight out of here. Now what I'm going to do is re first of all replace the filter. It goes right in here. You get a little hammer. And Lightly tap this into here. All right. So now, last time I was reverse flushing it, so now I'm going to be positively flushing it. So I'm going to put this on down here. There we go. This is the inlet end, and this is going to be dipped back into the solution after I get this tube on this side. 
There we go. Just to test it and make sure it works. Yep, good connection. I'm going to go ahead and pump this up again. As you can see, it's going up to about 25 PSI. And I'm going to tap this repetitively up and down on the terminal. Now it's important not to just hold it against the battery because otherwise you can fry out the, the terminal. That's from what I've read. So I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Pump it up a little bit more. There we go. So it's about good for this one. Go ahead and one last time, let it get the pressure out of there. There we go. Pull this guy off. I'm trying to be delicate with these things, but there we go. Pop the terminals off, and let's go ahead. We already got the new filter on. This is the rest of the kit that comes with the Mr. Injector filter replacement. Rebuild kit. Put this guy right on here, the rubber grommet. One more on this side, and then the little pintle tip is going to go on the actual, uh, it's going to go on the tip of where the injector comes out. This guy's a little harder to get on. I like to put it on the metal surface and press down on it. And there it goes, pops right on. Be careful with these, you don't want to break them. Alright, so there we have it. Brand new, completely rebuilt fuel injector, and it is flushed cleaned and new filters and new rubber grommets. So this guy's ready to go into the Jeep. One last thing I do want to show you guys is how to actually get off these little filter tips. This is the step that I didn't get to show you earlier. Basically I'm going to take a screw, screw it into the actual, this is another injector, screw it into the actual inlet. There we go. and gently work it back and forth. There it goes, there's a the filter, it pops right off. And you already saw how I actually put a new one in, so that's about it. Hope that was helpful. Cheap way to flush your fuel injectors, and this is supposed to actually have improve your fuel economy. And I did it because, like I said, the pistol caps on mine are cracked, as you can see here. So, good luck, hope that was helpful.